What cables do I need for Wi-Fi? Types of internet cables for Wi-Fi. There are a few choices of cabling when looking at supply Wi-Fi devices. The choice of cable will depend on the speed requirements and the type of Wi-Fi product chosen. Firstly we have a look at the types of internet cables for Wi-Fi. These are generally in three types in mainstream installations. However, all cables have a large number of similarities. Twisted pairs and RJ45 connectors. Typically twisted pair Ethernet cables are constructed of eight copper insulated wires in a plastic sleeve. Two wires are twisted collectively in a pair for four pairs, and then the four teams are twisted together to structure the cable. The twists and couples affect specific cables' overall performance traits. For example, crosstalk, attenuation, and electromagnetic interference EMI. Crosstalk occurs when an electrical sign transmitted over one wire negatively influences the electrical signal transmitted over any other wire. Attenuation is the regular loss of intensity of an electrical signal as it travels above the wire. EMI is noise, unwanted electrical signals, generated between the wires using electrical signals transmitted. A clear plastic jack, regarded as an RJ45 connector, is connected to both ends of the twisted pair Ethernet cable. An RJ45 connector appears very comparable to a phone jack, which recognizes an RJ11 connector. Twisted pair Ethernet cabling commonly refers to as Ethernet, CAT5E, CAT6, CAT6A, CAT7, or UTP cable. Technically, Ethernet is wiring and signaling fashionable, that covers many cabling technologies. Therefore CAT5E for example is one category of several accessible categories. UTP is one of two feasible types regarding outer shielding and protection. However, these phrases are frequently understood to refer to twisted pair Ethernet cabling. Categories of twisted pair cables. There are quite a few classes of twisted pair cabling, but only three classes that regularly use for Ethernet networks. Category 5E, CAT5E. Category 5E, CAT5E, or CAT5 enhanced. In addition Category 6, CAT6. Lastly, CAT6A or CAT6 augmented. CAT7 is now also starting to be seen more commonly. But it's still not being installed in large installations for offices and Wi-Fi. However, it is more commonly seen in data centers and for specialist installations such as audio-visual. The performance characteristics of CAT5, CAT5E, and CAT6 are as follows. 1. CAT5E data cabling. CAT5E cabling has been the minimum standard for over 20 years and is still a popular choice in many installations. It is limited to a maximum bandwidth of 100 MHz and an internet speed of 1 gigabit. This is applicable for all lengths of cabling installations up to 90 meters with patch leads and 100 meters for a direct cabling link. 2. CAT6 data cabling. CAT6 cabling increases the bandwidth capability of CAT5E from 100 MHz to 250 MHz. However, over the standardized industry ratification, it also has a maximum internet speed of 1 gigabit over 90 meters and 100 meters. However, it has the capability of handling 10 gigabit speeds up to 55 meters. Therefore it is recommended when designing a structured cabling installation that the whole system is based on the 90 meters link for standardization. Structured cabling routes don't always follow the expected routes and on-site changes are frequent. Therefore you may find a designed cabling run of less of 55 meters now exceeds that. You then lose the 10 gigabit speed straight down to 1 gigabit. 3. CAT6A data cabling. Industry-wide CAT6A data cabling is the standard for 10 gigabit speeds. It will also at the ratified distance of 90 meters and 100 meters produce 10 gigabit speeds. If your Wi-Fi units are 10 gigabit enabled or require 10 gigabit backbone cabling then CAT6A is the minimum for installation. CAT6A cable due to its construction is also better enabled to handle PoE power distribution to the Wi-Fi units which is a major part of all Wi-Fi access points. Data cabling comparison chart. CAT5E, CAT6, CAT7 and CAT8. Unshielded versus shielded cables. Twisted pair Ethernet cabling can also be unshielded, standard, or shielded, not so common. Unshielded twisted pair UTP, cables are the most commonly installed cabling in enterprise networks and Wi-Fi. It is significantly cheaper and, a great deal more excellent flexible than shielded twisted pair STP, cabling. 
STP cabling is more expensive and much less pliable than UTP cabling. It is used more often in industrial environments and noisy environments susceptible to excessive electromagnetic interference EMI. The character pairs of wires in STP cables wrap in foil or another metallic shielding. An outer metallic defensive may also cover the entire group of twisted pairs, beneath the outer sleeve. Length and color of patch cables. When choosing a patch for your network, you additionally need to consider length and color. Length. Twisted pair Ethernet cables come in well-known lengths such as 3, 5, 7, and 10 feet. More extended sizes are available, and you can also have customized cable lengths made. The distance between your various community devices and your network change, or router will decide the length you need. However, the standards allow for a 90 meters permanent link from the cabinet to the device and a 5 meters patch leads each end. However, we see longer patch leads used at the user end when moving devices which then reduces the overall link length allowance. In most cases, this won't present a problem but keep in mind when running longer links to Wi-Fi access points. Color. Twisted pair Ethernet patch cables are available in many colors. We advise that your systems are color-coded for ease of identification in your network cabinets. Common colors are blue for network, yellow for phone etc. In addition, assign a separate color for each of your Wi-Fi access points. Furthermore when installing the cabling put them all on a dedicated patch panel. This allows for easier management of the Wi-Fi network. For further assistance or a free survey please email or call on the details below, and click like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video.